Welcome. This is the second of my so-called heat diaries and it's for the 3rd of July 2018. What they're not telling you. Would you like to hear some really scary numbers? The Earth's climate system is rapidly accumulating heat but just how fast is it doing so? Here's a plot of the heat accumulation over about the last 50 years or so. You can see most of the heat is being accumulated in the oceans with only 10% of it by a combination of land, ice and atmosphere. In that period we've absorbed something like 2 times 10 to the 23 joules of energy into our climate system. But that doesn't mean very much to most people so let's try and put it into an understandable context. The Hiroshima atomic bomb emitted 6.3 times 10 to the 13 joules. If the climate system has absorbed 2 times 10 to the 23 joules that's equivalent to over 3 billion atomic bombs. That's 72 million per year or 200,000 atomic bombs per day. So over this period our climate system absorbed the energy equivalent of two atomic bombs every second. However if you look at this plot you can see the rate of accumulation has increased. The current rate of energy accumulation into our climate system is the equivalent of four atomic bombs every second. The news headlines are showing that a huge heat wave is hitting America. According to NBC News, over 120 million Americans are under heat advisories of one sort or another. AccuWeather says the humidity is brutal. Even places that don't exceed 100, it feels like it. Chicago, extreme heat warning. Heat index not dropping below 100 degrees Fahrenheit until after midnight. New York is opening cooling centers. Northern California is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which having lived there is quite unusual for this time of year. By next weekend they claim that Las Vegas will be over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The weather forecasters keep saying that the size and intensity of this high pressure system is unusual even for this time of year. New high temperature records are outpacing uh, lows by 5 to 1, it's normally about 2 to 1. So this is a major heat wave hitting most of the US. Meanwhile, Europe is undergoing similar problems. A high pressure system hanging over the UK and Scandinavia seems to be the main cause of this. It sparked huge wildfires in Croatia, Italy, Spain, France and even Ireland. The UK Met Office issued its first ever severe thunderstorm warning in 164 years of history. Some forecasters claim that this could go on another month. Florida seems to be undergoing a different sort of problem due to the heat. A type of seaweed called sargassum seaweed is blooming along Florida and Caribbean beaches. The only problem is when it blooms it produces a very foul smell. It's only started to appear in the last decade or so and it's thought that increasing water temperatures are the cause brought on by global warming. The high temperatures and dry conditions are causing other problems. Many cities across the western US from Colorado to California are cancelling their 4th of July fireworks displays. The reason for this are drought conditions and the potential for causing wildfires. Meanwhile carbon dioxide has set a new record high concentration in the Earth's atmosphere. It reached 410 parts per million. This exceeded anything that has been recorded during the 800,000 years of ice core record and probably exceeds any level in the last 25, maybe even 50 million years. The current rate of increase is 3 parts per million per year and that rate is accelerating. So if you find a video on YouTube that talks about uh, being unusually cold somewhere or it snowed in an unusual place, please post a link to this video and tell them in reality the heat is on. Until next time, goodbye.